Hey loves, I'm Naturally Curla. Welcome to my channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and post this video. The first thing is I'm using this big bun that I got from the beauty supply store, but I know H&M, Forever 21, Amazon will have these big mega buns um, that you can use. A couple things heads up about this video. This was my first time trying this hairstyle. It did not come out the way I wanted it to. I repeat, it did not come out the way I wanted it to. Um, it really wasn't a vision. I was just seeing where it goes. I was just making a video up, making a hairstyle up, just trying to get better at updos because I really don't like updos, updo hairstyles. I'm finding that about myself. It's just too much work. I just don't like being stressed out about hair, period. So, and I found that I don't like updos. So, but I know that if I posted this video on my Instagram, a lot of times some of the styles that I do not like always seem to get asked the most about so I was like well you know what well, let me go ahead and post even though I did not like how it came out and you'll see a lot of the imperfections that kind of happen so I'm just using some edge control use whatever you want whatever works for you sweetheart you know it's plenty good ones out there so I'm just going to do uh, some twists going up they're not flat twists just regular twists just twisting my hair towards the crown of my head laying my edges and that's really it how are y'all doing how's the new year treating you oh child I started fasting like right now I'm fasting from three to eight o'clock the next morning so that's pretty tough because I really want to eat something now I've cut back on drinking um just focusing on my health I gained like up to 170 pounds for those of you you know I was like 145 150 my weight always goes up and down because I have thyroid issues but I got so tired of just people being like congratulations are you expecting like I'm like first of all first of all that is so rude like just to come and ask somebody that out the blue and it made me really feel away and really self-conscious like Am I that? Do I look that pregnant? Like, I know I have a fupa, but I'm out here looking because when you have thyroid issues, like I have hypothyroidism, the hypothyroidism, it makes you really bloated. And I'm like, dang, you know, I'm really out here. Okay, I've really let myself go. You know, and you start to feel really insecure. You don't want to leave the house. I done pulled the Spanx back out. Last year did a number and just emotionally drained me. And then just being in a house a lot and then eating all kind of crap you know, just I don't this year I said I was going to be better treat my body better so that's what I'm doing I'm fasting drinking more water I'm getting my you know my lemon and my mint water together drinking my gallon a day girl I got my little y'all can't tell me nothing so I put everything up into a ponytail and then I'm going to um twist it twist it up and put it into a little mini bun so I can add my weave ponytail on top of it. But yeah, so I was like, I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm also been, just been a bit frustrated with school because I'm older now. And, you know, I don't catch on as quickly as I would like to catch on. And, you know, with hair school, it's only so long. Like, I graduate in September. So, and it's oh, so much with cosmetology. It's so much stuff that... You can either want to do everything, and for me, I don't want to do everything. Like, nails is not something I want to do. So, learning all these terminology for nails, and then having to learn all this anatomy for hair and nails and feet. I'm, child, I'm just cussing everybody out of my head. Like, I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm using some edge control and a little bit of gel to lay my, um, my swoop down. But I'm just too annoyed. I'm like, y'all really got the nerve. Like, you couldn't just let us choose, hey, do you want to also be a nail tech as, long, as well as do hair? Or just gave me a straight hair course, like, just hair. Oh, yes, just hair. Why do I need to know all of this about some stuff that I'm not going to do? Like, I pay somebody else to do my nails, sis. I don't want to do your feet. I don't want to touch your feet. I don't want to tell you if you got a fungus or not. I don't want to do none of that, okay? Like, I don't want to do that. So, and then I'm also learning with hair, like, it's so much stuff that, like, a lot of people do now that isn't right, but you do it anyway because you get comfortable, things 
you know, you get more comfortable doing being a stylist and getting away with certain things, you start to slack. You know, I don't want to be one of them stylists that slack, but I'm also not going to be one of them stylists that do stuff to make me lose my license. Like, I'm not risking it with y'all. If I'm not, I'm not doing no color that I feel like your hair is going to fall out because you ain't about to blame me. I don't care. Like, you may like that hair color for two weeks. Like, I don't care. Run it up. I want lime green hair. I want platinum blonde. And I'm like, all right. And then next month, you don't have no hair. Now I got some issues. I'm getting sued. You know, nah, we're not about to play that. If, if, if it's not, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. I have no problem telling you that. Like, I'll tell you, no, 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 sis. We ain't doing it. Okay. So I'm just going to run the little wee ponytail I got. It's Kankalon wee ponytail. And this is the part where I was just extremely winging it, sis. Like, I, I always bobby pin the bottom of my buns. Um, the second time I did this style, it came out perfect. But this time, because I wasn't going anywhere, I'm literally just winging it, trying it out to see, like, what, you know, how this was going to come out with. It just, ugh. So, so what happened was, is that I totally did, like, I, and you know, it's funny, I felt it too. Like, even though I couldn't see it because that part was black, my ponytail was black, I just felt, I felt the texture of the bun but I thought it was just because you know the um the the weave was so thin that I could feel you know the texture um of the bun I didn't realize like the whole side was just missing because I'm what I'm doing is like wrapping it uh, wrapping it under and then just pin it in place and then I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this piece because I'm like well where do I do I stick this part over which I should have I probably should just swooped it over but I was like, nah, I can't do that because it's already wrapped and that probably looked kind of janky. <sighs> so I decided to just go ahead and braid it. Again, not realizing all of that is just missing. Thank God I didn't go nowhere. But you know, I, but you know what? I can't say that because I did realize after I had put my clothes on and I finished like doing my pictures and stuff when I went to the bathroom, I was like, hold up. Is that the whole side missing? Luckily, you can't see it on camera. But... Yeah, when I seen that, I just was not about to redo the bun. So that's why, like, towards the end, I would have showed y'all, like, how the whole style looked. But I was literally missing half that side. So at the point, I was just like, whatever. You know what? They're going to do it better than me, I pray. I pray. Um, Do not forget, I forget to tuck that underneath. Because here I am thinking I was bringing y'all something creative. And I done screwed the hairstyle up. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much just wrapped the braid around, braided all the way around. And then I just tucked it underneath that braid. And then I just bobby pinned everything and tucked it. It's funny because I always like run stuff through my Facebook first. Like my friends on Facebook and ask them, like, how does the style look? And they're like, yes. And if it gets a lot of love, then I always post it. If it doesn't get a lot of love, I'll be like, nah. Because there's one thing people going to tell you is like... And this is where, you know, they're going to, your people are going to tell you the truth. And this is where I was feeling around. Like, I was like, something does not feel right. But I was like, mm, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just tripping. So I just went ahead and kept bobby pinning everything around. And yeah, that was, that was really it. So again, for those of you that always say my hairstyles always are like, come out right now, they don't. Most of the time, I just don't post what comes out wrong. But this time, I was like, screw it. You know, I think it's still a cute hairstyle for those of you that want to try it. You just know what not to do. You learn from my mistakes. And for those of you that are better at weave styles, then hey, it'll come out a lot better. I'm not good at weave styles or updos. I just wanted something, just something to, you know, to just tap into my creativity. Because sometimes I can get, I don't know, I can just get blah. Like if I feel like I'm not being creative or I'm not doing nothing different, I feel bored with it. But anyway, thank you for watching my videos and always supporting me. And I hope the new year brings you nothing but success, money, and love. Bye. Until my next video. And if it's not love, at least you'll be happy with yourself, sis. Boom.